Loeffler's endocarditis was described by Wilhelm Loeffler in 1936 with eosinophilic infiltration in the endomyocardial region. It can cause a restrictive cardiomyopathy similar to endomyocardial fibrosis and is associated with hyper eosinophilic syndrome. Large thrombi can occur in the ventricular cavity or attached to the walls. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Restriction of movement of the mitral leaflets due to eosinophilic infiltration can cause severe mitral regurgitation. Such cases may need mitral wall replacement. Loeffler's endocarditis can also present with vegetations on the wall leaflets without any involvement of the myocardium. In that case, there was good resolution of the vegetations with a two-month course of corticosteroids. Tricuspid valve involvement in Loeffler's endocarditis also needs surgical treatment in certain cases. Arrhythmias like atrial flutter can sometimes be associated with Loeffler's endocarditis. When there is endomyocardial involvement, it is also called Loeffler's endomyocarditis. ST segment and T wave changes in Loeffler's endocarditis may mimic those in coronary artery disease. Echocardiography is useful in Loeffler's endocarditis for demonstration of valvular lesions including vegetations and thrombi as well as documenting endomyocardial involvement. Doppler echocardiography is useful in assessing severity of the valvular regurgitation lesions. Initial set of references on Loeffler's endocarditis. Remaining set of references on Loeffler's endocarditis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.